Hey gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology and what a week. We have a new super moon in Leo. Yeah baby, it's going to be bright and it's packed with potential. Here's your weekly astrology. Hey Aries, wow, this week you are going to be launched into a brand new start, which could involve you gaining confidence and you stepping forward to truly express who you are. And there could be some recognition and opportunity and heaps of potential for you this week. Now, a little word of caution on the 29th UK time, we have the sun squaring Uranus, which you know, can be a little bit fractious. On the one hand, we are feeling bold. We're feeling powerful. We feel like we can do anything because the sun is making us super confident and creative and, and full of passion and full of love and full of wonder. But then, of course, on the other hand, Uranus is dropping in some unexpected energy. And it could be that you find someone else is kind of doing or saying something that you find contentious or you find riles up your Aries anger. It could be that someone finds you too unpredictable and there's some furore around that. But do not worry, the best way to handle this is to express your unique soul and to be as calm as possible when dealing with difficult characters. There may even be an opportunity that you have to grasp straight away and be confident enough to go for. Now, the new super moon in Leo is a big one. You have the opportunity of a rebirth when it comes to your soulmate relationships and the very essence of your happiness. And it will change. Even if you're the happiest human in the cosmos, something shifting, hopefully, to bring you more happiness. But it may be that you have to leave something behind to truly follow your path, to truly express who you are and to truly find happiness and possibly even love. But this is a gateway that you want to take. It's a gateway to your joy, your joy in the present and the future. As I said, there may be some letting go. There may be some endings. There may be some drama. Leo's all about drama. Before you get what you want. But certainly around that time, you'll be aware what you want. And that's half the battle. Now, I'm actually, even though you can't see me, I'm going to pull three tarot cards to add insight. Because people have been saying, where's the tarot? First card I've got is the Knight of Cups. Look out for a water sign who may want to offer you something out of the blue. They're charming and they speak from their heart. Also, you've got the Three of Cups. So there is celebration and happiness and a sense of camaraderie and joy. And on top of that, you've got the Seven of Cups, which is very, very on point for the astrology. In the picture of the Seven of Cups, you have uh, seven cups with all different things inside. You've got a castle, you've got jewels, you've got a serpent, you've got a dragon lizard creature, you've got glory and victory, and you've got something unexpected. And actually, you're at that point. You're staring at the seven cups this week. Where shall I go? What shall I really reach out and grab so that I can truly be happy? Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.